are at Cotswood Wildlife Park today. I've got a little one that's very excited. So we've not come in the normal way, we've come in sideways and he can already spot the rhino, so we're off there. Uh, we've got to watch out for the train. Train's not coming, so you can go. We'll go on the train later though, won't we? Boing. Okay, so I had to do another voiceover. There was uh, a few people around and a lot of voices. So these were the giant turtles or tortoise. Um, and we stayed a little while here because he was eating the grass and then he did move. And uh, there was a few children that have never seen a tortoise move, as you can see now. So that was really enjoyable for them. This is the grounds, this is the house. Um, I don't know if you can actually go in there. And then a, a quick look at the rhinos there. Um, and then we went over to the camels. My son thought they looked really messy and dirty and needed a bath. <laughs> um, but he wouldn't come near them because um, my mum told him that they spit and he just wouldn't come near them at all. But there was uh, about five of them all together. Uh, so we did spend a little while there. Um, and he was really surprised that you could actually ride camels in the desert. He didn't know. Um, I don't remember what these were called, but it was hilarious. That one had just um, was sniffing underneath the other one. He got weed on as we got there. One of the other ones had a little wee on them on him. And then we saw the lions, which are my favourite. Obviously, this is a female lion. She was lying down, but as we got to the uh, glass window, she sat up um, and she was looking at us. And I just find lions so beautiful. Since I went to Longleat and I was actually stood next to a lion, it was unbelievable. It always brings back amazing memories for me. Uh, around the corner, you had the male lion. Again, it was lying down. And then he sat up as we got to the other pane of glass. They do go all the way round. So where you see the first lion, do walk round to the other side because there's usually the other lion stood there somewhere in the sand. Um, absolutely beautiful, beautiful creatures. Um, I did spend a little while there just watching them and just uh, bringing back memories of my long leap time. Um, yeah, it was just unreal. Then we moved on to... On to the giraffe, sorry, which my son absolutely loved. You can walk up and see where they actually live. If they're not out on the grounds here, you can walk up them a walkway and you can look at them in where they actually sleep and stuff, which was great. I think there was about five or six. Uh, one was obviously lying down. Um, I just thought it was beautiful. Just giraffes are just stunning, aren't they? And then they were all gathered around this one beautiful giraffe i'm not sure she was pregnant or not moving on to the zebras there was three zebras there um nothing really special about them um but yeah my son was asking if they were black with white stripes or white with black stripes what do you think moving on to another area there was an area that was closed because some of the birds had a uh, flu so it wasn't allowing people in but there were these creatures i have no idea what they're called but they looked absolutely adorable um so we spent a little bit of time just walking around there it's a beautiful walkway um my little one thought these were little baby kangaroos and we watched a video on tiktok the other day where a big kangaroo punched another kangaroo so he was waiting for that and then we had we walked up this walkway and it was beautiful, beautiful scenery. I mean, look at this. We're off to see the wolves here. Unfortunately, we only saw one of them. But look at that beautiful scenery or the green. Oh, just it was so stunning, so peaceful. So this is the one wolf that we saw. I'm not sure if there was any more there, but we did see this one. Um, and I did walk with wolves as well in Longleat, which was great. They also had a little farm area as well for kids to see. So these were all the guinea pigs and there were some rabbits there. Um, my son said he's never seen a guinea pig before, but I've got pictures of him holding one when he was little. So he lies to me, uh, but he probably just doesn't remember. So yeah, so lots of different guinea pigs. There was quite a few of them, to be fair. So this was only like the guinea pigs and the rabbits. I don't know if they actually do place um, times where you can hold them. I don't think they do at the Cotswood Wildlife Park, but I know they do at the Cotswood Farm Park. Park, which is a different one i know you can hold um rabbits and guinea pigs at the cotswood farm park not the wildlife park they had an enclosure there where you could go in and see the goats you could stroke them couldn't feed them or anything but you could walk around with them um, here they all are running and a bunch of kids running after them as well uh, a man was cutting down the tree and was feeding so some other goats one was walking right by the side of me which was absolutely wonderful 
This one did get poked in the eye by a little girl and he got his um, horns and tried to push her away. And then when you come out of there, you can see the massive cow. That's the only cow they have with the donkeys. And obviously the man had cut down the tree so they were coming to feed. Um, and then we moved on. There were some sheep, but they just led there pretty boring, nothing special. Onto the pig. And then we've got the tarantulas here. I was sent into the insect room to see if the tarantulas were still in their cages uh, or in behind the glass. They couldn't get my son because he doesn't like spiders at all. Um, and then is this a chameleon here? Or yeah, I think it's a chameleon. I stood for a while watching this one. It's just so beautiful. We did all go into the uh, reptile place where there were snakes and lizards. There was also a big crocodile in there as well. I'm not sure I got that. Um, we'll see we'll see as we go um, and there were some baby crocodiles as well which was um, really nice to see but my son did get scared so taking him to crocodile world I don't think is going to um, be beneficial for us right now because he didn't really like seeing the crocodiles uh, but yeah there's all of these ones here and this one um, was just oh, what is that I said never snake or a lizard I love these green ones. They're so nice. Is that an iguana? An iguana, is that how you say it? I think so. And then we have the snowy owl, which is Harry Potter to me. I don't know about you, but seeing a white snowy owl, always think of Hedwig. Love Harry Potter. On my list to go to Harry Potter in London again. I haven't been for about 10 years, so I'd love to go again. So yeah, there was lots of different owls um, here. This one was having a wash and then he just popped his head up um should do in a minute but yeah so my son did like the owls there he is so yeah there was plenty plenty of owls if you like birds there was a whole bird section as well for them and there was like vultures there and little tiny house birds as well um my son thought this was hilarious how he kept turning his head back and forth so wonderful, wonderful creatures. These are monkeys that they were all sleeping. One put his arm up, the one that was led down. He just put his, he put his arm up to say hi. <laughs> um, so yeah, they were the monkeys. They weren't very active today, but I have been before and they've been quite active jumping around. I think you need to get there quite early. You need to go to the monkeys first. And then there was the penguins, which my son's favorite animal is a penguin. And this one was a right show off. There were some people there before us and he was swimming past them and flapping and doing all those little things that he's doing now. And when those <laughs> when those people went, he then came over to us and started doing the same thing. Um, and he was just a little bit of a show off. But there was a couple of children there that thought it was hilarious. There were these ones that were just looking at him and thinking, what are you doing? But absolutely beautiful. Again, my son's favourite animal is got to be a penguin. And this one was just fantastic on the day. Yeah, or doing his tail, flapping his tail. Was that what you say? I'm not sure, but it was fun. Again, as you can see, we spent quite a while at the penguins watching him, having his bath, having his wash. Um, but yeah, you could just stay there for ages and ages. And then we went and saw the little meerkats as well. There was some running around and there was this awesome one that, that was just like on lookout. Um, and he was just like watching. I have zoomed in. There we go. Absolutely wonderful. I do like a meerkat. You can't beat them, can you? So yeah, he was just looking around and this one was doing all the digging and searching and they were, there was another one they were chasing each other as well. So they, they're right next to the penguins. So you just stay in the whole enclosure part there. Um, and then they were these other little things. Again, names escape me. I'm so sorry. If you're an animal lover, you could probably drop in the comments what all these animals are. But my son just loves seeing them. Um, and they were just like hunting for food. Looks like they'd just been fed. And then we moved on to the otters. Again, two otters, mate for life. Absolutely stunning. They were in and out of the water uh, for a good five, ten minutes while we were sat there watching. They were just flapping around and with each other. And then they found some fish or they found some kind of food. And they were trying to like feed each other the food. Um, yeah, we got there. We were lucky we got there quite quickly and there was nobody around so we got to watch it but the longer we were staying there the more crowds kept coming in and watching these absolutely beautiful otters um i think the penguins and the otters and the lions had to be uh, my favorite part of this whole trip um but there is so much to see we had such a great day we really did have so much fun 
You can do a Lima walkthrough as well, which is great as well. But there was only one. We only saw this one Lima. As soon as we went in, we only saw the one. And then we didn't see any all the way around. So I didn't film it. And then we go into the shop. So there was lots and lots of different things in the shop. And I love this pad here. So you could actually test to see if the pen works before you actually buy it. They had lots of pens, pencils, uh, colouring pads, all sorts of things. Uh, lots of key rings and magnets, which I think I'll get to in a second. Uh, coasters, notepads, all with these beautiful pictures of animals on. But there was also lots of toys as well. And it wasn't cheap, guys. It really wasn't. It was quite expensive. Um, you could get the same things in home bargains, but I'm sure it's just kind of like whilst you're there. I did buy my son an explorer hat because he likes exploring at the moment. There's the magnets there, you see. So if you are a magnet collector, there's lots of different magnets there for you to collect. So this area was mainly the kids' area. There was a snapper thing here, um, or different ones that my son liked. Again, see, these kind of things, I feel that you could just pick up in Home Bargains or B&M, but you're paying extortionate prices because it is a kind of tourist attraction, isn't it? Uh, there's games there. There was books there. If you've got a reader for a child, like, they're great. There were games, outdoor games, indoor games for you to pick up and play with. And even bath toys as well, which is brilliant. Um, there's obviously the farm section here with um, tractors and stuff. And then it even had cars. So it wasn't just an animal thing. They were masks there, but they were furry masks. And then you had a few things for girls, just specific unicorns or boys. You know, boys and girls can both like unicorns. Yeah, and then we just had lots of other different kind of little bits and pieces, really. The things I would always think that you would put in a party bag. Um, my son wanted quite a lot, but he wasn't getting it. It's just too expensive uh, to keep buying those kind of things. But I say I bought him an Explorer hat for his day out. Yeah, and then we've got even more at the top. There were these big dinosaur toys. If dinosaurs is something that your little one is into that you could buy. And again, more kind of like hooker ducks and other things that you can do in the bath or in the pool with the summer come in. You could do it in the pool somewhere. Um, yeah, so again, more dinosaurs, more bouncy balls. This is the kiddie area. Then we come over to the soft toys. I did like the panda. I really, really did like this panda. But there were soft toys everywhere, from sloths to penguins to lions to pigs to cows. There was, if you name an animal, and there was a soft toy there somewhere. I think they were about $8.99. I think similar to that kind of price. Um, again, see, just more and more that you're literally spoiled for choice. If you've got a little one that absolutely love teddies, then you, you're not going to come out of there without one unless you're really super strict. Some of them were puppet teddies as well, which was great. Um, and then we moved on to more of like a homeware adult section. So there was like coffee mugs and bottles um, and towels, swimwear, hats, all those kind of things with animals on. Um, and there was all winter and summer stuff. Now you had these lovely little ornaments as well that you could pick up if you wanted to give somebody a gift or you wanted to take a souvenir home. There were wind chimes there as well, which I thought were really, really pretty. Um, and again, more little bits and pieces, especially if you are away um, and you want to take something back home for someone. More soft toys. There were jigsaw puzzles there. Uh, they even had a section that for dog toys, like animal dog toys. So you could take something back for the dog. We didn't. It would be chewed up in seconds. So we're not paying like £6 for a teddy that he's just going to chew up. Uh, we had a great time at the Cotswood Wildlife Park. Uh, we got there when it opened at 10am. We stayed till about 2ish. We had to get back for the to pick up the dog. So we couldn't stay any later. But they do open until 6 o'clock at night, which is really, really good. As we were actually leaving more people were actually entering the actual park itself so you could go at any time of the day that you wanted to go for two adults and one child it cost £44.50 well worth it lots to see lots to do uh, there is a big uh, children's play area there as well which my little one loved which I forgot to film because I was having too much fun with my little one and forgot all about it um, but sometimes 
memories are more important than, than capturing things on camera all the time. Um, there's also a train now that we didn't go on. We didn't get there till one o'clock. And I said we had to get back for the dog and it was an hour wait on the train uh, to get onto the train. So we couldn't really do it this time. It's two pound for adults and one pound for children to go on the train. It opens at 11 a.m. So if you want to beat the queues, do go at 11 o'clock in the morning. It, that's, that's what I would suggest to do. Otherwise you could be waiting for an hour or, or even longer. So it was a fantastic day, really, really enjoyable. Um, and we will definitely be going back as well. Um, you have to book your tickets the day before, which is actually really good because you know you don't know what the weather's going to do so if you if it's going to pour down with rain then you've not wasted money on tickets which i think is a really good good thing to have as well um so yeah so we had a great day so have you been to the Cotswood wildlife park before um what did you think of it is there anywhere else that you would think you think that maybe i would like to go with my little one and i usually I would take my mum or i take my dad and his wife so where else would you recommend for us to go that's kid friendly and lots of fun for us to do that's not overly expensive as a treat for for all of us so do let me know down in the comments below next week i was supposed to be going to comic con but unfortunately my little one's been invited to a birthday party so now we're going to that uh so no comic con but there is going to be some videos coming up i will be doing a uh, christmas planning um starting in june video coming soon and some cooking ones i'm going to be doing my chocolate mousse my blueberry yogurts and um a crumble with some oats and oat flour as well which has already been um asked by you so if you have any other video suggestions then do let me know um i hope whenever you're watching this you're having a great day if you like this video give it a thumbs up and do consider subscribing it lets me know what kind of videos you like to see from me and i can add more of those in for your entertainment and enjoyment i hope you're having a great day and i'll catch you on the next one bye guys